Here are five skills all After Effects users should know. And these are techniques I definitely wish I was aware of when I first started out in video editing and motion design. So if you're ready to level up your skills, please be sure to drop a like on this video and let's jump in. So one skill you should be able to have inside of After Effects is being able to texture anything. And there's many different ways to be able to do this. So here we are, we have a texture image and a title, but this will work with anything. So what I like to do is take the texture layer and kind of keep it as a background and then go to edit duplicates and I'll bring the texture layer above our title layer or graphic and then I come here to the track map for our title layer or graphic and set it to that duplicated layer. So now we can kind of see through it and it blends directly in there. And then if we want to be able to control the intensity of this texture, we can grab the texture layer here at the top, go to effect color correction curves. And with the curves effect, we can easily change the lighting of the entire texture so we can make our title or graphic stand out even more just by messing around with the curves. So it's a very simple thing to be able to do, but if you want to watch our full tutorial on texturing and blending anything, go ahead and check that link in the description below. All right, the next skill that you should be able to have is being able to do path animations inside of After Effects. There are two types of path animations, text path animations and shape path animations. So for example, if you have a text layer, all you need to do is come here to the top and grab one of the shape tools. We can grab the ellipse tool, for example, and from the center, we can draw out a perfect circle like this. And you can go to your text layer, open it up, go to text, go to path options and set the path to that mask. And now that text is gonna take the form of your mask. Uh, you can change some of the settings here. So for example, you can do reverse path um, and then you can come here to say first margin and you can alt click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk 200, for example. And this will animate our title along the path and that looks great. Uh, now, if, obviously, if you want to utilize the entire path, you can go to effect uh, time and grab echo. You can increase the number of echoes and then you can adjust the echo time to evenly distribute your duplicated text. And now we have this really awesome, unique title. You can even go a little bit more advanced and create, you know, path animations in 3D space. So let's say we want to create a custom path for this circle to move across our screen. So for example, I can grab the pen tool, you know, maybe select the saw layer and click a point here and just start creating a custom path that I want my circle to follow. And then I can adjust the points as I see fit like this. I hit M on my keyboard to bring up the mass path, copy the mass path, go to our shape layer or object layer, hit P on your keyboard for position, select the position and paste that data in there. And now our circle will follow that path. So go ahead and have fun with path animations. And if you like these type of motion graphics, you can actually download a handful of these for free inside of our Motion Duck extension. You can preview and import them into any project you're working on. And since these are templates, you can easily modify them. Also, we have a much larger pack of these type of templates in our 100 visual elements pack and thousands of more templates within our Motion Duck extension. Check out everything, including the free pack with the links in the description below. The next skill you should have in After Effects is being able to work with repeaters within shape layers. So for example, you can use this to create really cool backgrounds or exciting motion graphics. There's a lot you can do with it. So I can grab, say, the ellipse tool, draw out a perfect circle, and I go to my shape layer and I go to add, and I'll add this repeater. And I can open this repeater, go to transform, I can adjust the X position, and then maybe bring down the scale to infinitely loop this. And then I increase the number of copies, and I come here to offset and have this, you know, fill up my entire screen, increase the copy some more, add a keyframe for offsets and move forward in time. And then I'll animate this to come right towards us. And then you can just increase the number of copies to keep this animation infinite. So with this technique, you can create some really cool backgrounds very easily by repeating any type of shape that you're creating or create some unique motion graphics. Uh, by repeating that animation. One of the most important concepts that you need to understand in After Effects is being able to create super smooth animation and also being able to create individual character animation with your text. So for example, you really shouldn't be animating text uh, with the transform properties. What you should be doing is opening up your text tab and going to animate and adding any of these properties. So for example, if I wanna do a position animation, I'll go ahead and add that in there. I can bring down the Y value and I'll come here to the range selector, add a keyframe for start, move forward by one second and set up to 100%. And this will animate each letter individually, but then I can also come here to add, go to property and add an opacity, set it to 0%, and this will hide each letter before it animates on. But also we need to be able to create smooth animation and control it so we can select both keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, which in my opinion doesn't really make much of a difference. So you can go to the graph editor, select your keyframes, and there's handles here, you go ahead and just move these over, adjust them, and this will completely change the dynamic of your animation. You can also add on other animators onto your title. So for example, I'll come back here to animate and add a tracking, and we can add a keyframe for tracking amount, 
move forward in time and set this up and do the same thing with the keyframes. We'll do the quick graph editor technique real fast. Now we have all the options and power to control our title animations here in After Effects. The next skill that you should really start to develop is being able to work with vector objects inside of After Effects. A vector object allows you to infinitely scale your object without losing pixelization. So right now we have this pixelated, but if I click on continuously rasterize, we lose no data because this is a vector object, even at, you know, over a thousand percent scale. You know, in Adobe Illustrator, this is where you can create more complex objects. You don't necessarily need to know how to create these yourself because you can always download, you know, free vectors from a site called FreePix, or you can find your own templates or work with an illustrator because this is a separate skill on its own. But you need to be able to work with these very easily and understand the workflow between Illustrator and After Effects. So for example, if I have this rocket here, I need to be able to go through the layers and isolate it. So if I bring it over to After Effects, I can animate it independently but how this works, I just come here, file, save, uh, save it as an illustrator file, call it rocket and click OK. But when I go over to After Effects, I can import my rocket illustrator file. It'll ask me how to import it. I can say footage or composition. Since this is a single object, I'll hit footage. You know, then I can import the rocket into my composition. If I want, I can actually do that path animation that we did previously. So now I have my rocket following my path that I, you know, created in illustrator. But another advanced path tip that you need to be able to do is go to layer, uh, transform and click auto orient and click along path and now my rocket will rotate along the path depending on the directions going in and if you want to learn this workflow and more in depth go ahead and check our links in the description below because you'll be able to create any animation scene that you want in after effects if you want more editing and post-production tips just like this please be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creative